Greetings guys, I'm Kalen Wojcik with BE Myers and & Company, and in this video we're going to talk about utilizing IR lasers to assist us in spotting trace at night under various conditions. And in this video we're going to talk about how to select either the ISLID or utilizing the mall to spot trace. Spotting trace at night is extremely important because at night, without the ability to observe impacts on target or the effects on target, we're kind of dead in the water with regard to understanding where our bullets are impacting. So making the right selection for the power of your laser in regards to the range to your target is an important choice to make. Too much power and we end up washing out the target and creating a lot of shadows that actually make it more difficult to spot trace or find targets and not enough power it's the exact same thing only in reverse we can't see the target and we have a difficult time seeing trace all right so talking about spotting trace and effects of target at long range shooting engagements we also have to talk about how we're going to mount our night vision as well as our laser designators onto our spotting scope my preferred method i utilize the loophole mark 4 hd spotting scope because it gives me a wide range of magnification from 12 power to 40 power that's a pretty good range of magnification for utilizing night vision and not downgrading the effects of night vision with too much magnification. So the kit that I like to use on the spotting scope is from Badger Ordnance and it's called the Slick Kit. The Slick allows me to have a really low profile ability to mount various accessories to my spotting scope without it being big, bulky, and gaudy and excessive weight. So the slick kit allows me the ability to mount rails where I need them on the spotting scope to have the most minimal footprint in terms of how much gear I'm putting on the spotting scope. What I need is a night vision device, which will mount on this rail here. And as you can see, I have an islet mounted on this particular rail, and I can easily swap that islet out for a mall depending on the distance to the target and my requirements for those specific engagements. So selecting the proper laser for your application is really important. A lot of this is gonna come down to experience and actually getting out and shooting in these different conditions at different ranges and identifying what laser is gonna give you the best balance of positive target identification as well as the power that you see with regard to illumination. In my experience utilizing a laser such as the ISLID, that's going to be utilized for a target that is anywhere from between 800 meters out to 2000 meters. So talking about extended long range to extreme long range, utilizing weapon systems from 300 Winchester Magnum, 338 Lapua or 50 Cal. For 800 meters and in, I recommend utilizing the mall. The reason that I would recommend utilizing the mall for 800 meters and in is the beam is far more clear. The beam is far more appropriate with regard to the power of the laser in terms of illumination and the mall's preset cones of illumination are far better suited for engagements at that distance from 800 meters on in. So hopefully in this little short video you've identified some different ways that you can utilize the two different lasers from BE Myers for long range target engagements and spotting trace and effects on target at distance.